I'm here to talk about creating a slideshow that will loop endlessly. I've got everything done with my animations, transitions, etc. Um, I'm in PowerPoint 2013. It works with earlier and newer versions. It's pretty much the same. I'm on the slideshow here. And what you're going to do, I'm going to click on set up slideshow. I'm going to leave that alone for now. You're going to say loop continuously until escape. You can also, when you're doing the show, you can speak to it. Okay, if I say record slideshow here. I'm going to stop that right now, but that's how I start it. Um, and when you do this, it will put in a lot of things here. I'm just doing this without the audio, okay? But when I'm doing this, if I go into here, I'm on the first slide here, I'm going to say rehearse timings. You want it to advance, you don't want it to be too fast too slow I think you know what I'm saying I'm gonna go into set up slideshow and I went into here I could do the narration I didn't need to click on that yet I could have hidden slides here but it says using timings at present so I'm gonna go to rehearse timings and it gives you the time up in the upper left hand corner that is the time for the current slide the second one to the right is the total time you click to advance so I'm going to let it go for a couple of seconds. You want to make sure people can read it, but you don't want to go too slowly. I'm talking a little fast right now. That one was a six second slide here. Here's some views here. I'm going to go over here, let that run maybe one or two seconds here. And then this one here, we had animations. Each one comes in as a separate component. If you spend too much time staring at it like I'm doing now it's not going to come in so you got to make sure you have a little bit of what I would say rhythm in this and then we have the summary the final slideshow and it's saying this is my total time if I don't like it I could say no let's pretend we love it it is done okay and now what I want to do, if I'm going to do the slideshow here, I say set up. I say loop continuously. You could use pens and stuff. There's a lot of features here. And if I start the slideshow and I click on from beginning here, it's going to go, like I would say, look, Ma, no hands. It's going to keep advancing. I talked a lot during that first slide. But in a moment here, it's going to advance. It's going to advance. And it will keep going and going and going. I'm just only going to let it go for another couple of seconds here. You will see the beginning slide again. So you got the picture there. And I want to show you another couple of cool, quick tricks, okay? Uh, if you want to change the timing of a slide at all. See, this one's going slowly. If I want to speed that up, I'll show you in a moment here. Actually, I'm going to hit the escape right now. You had a couple of other ones here. What it is, this slide's going too slow, okay? I click on transitions. It's showing that this is 17 seconds. Let's say I want to make it, I'm going to make it three seconds. I'm going to go over here, watch this. See how fast this one goes. It's a little faster, but it's doing a, a couple of seconds for each one. So if I want to go even faster, and I have the duration there, watch this. I want to do this here, make it like a twentieth of a second. It is a little faster. You have to practice with this a little bit. And you will see in another moment as we get to the next slide, it will take you to the very beginning. So 
So it's going back to the beginning now. Other thing you can do. Nice, nice feature. You could turn this into a video. Uh, I click on file. I go to save as. Actually, I meant to say export. Create a video. You have different helps there. And what I could say is use recorded times and narrations here. And then if I click on create video, it'll override that. If I click on create video and there was narration, you will end up with a MP4 that you could post on YouTube, email to people or whatever. This can take a few minutes to do. Good luck.